Hello, my name is Luis Antonio and welcome to 12 Minutes, where you play a man trying to break free from a never-ending cycle of 12-minute loops. Hey there. And today, it's my pleasure to show you how it all plays out. I didn't hear you come in. Best night ever. Guess who made dessert? Let me know when you're in the mood. It all starts as you come home from work. In 12 minutes, you can interact with any highlighted item or character in the apartment. You can pick up smaller objects and carry them with you. You can then combine them with other objects or characters in the apartment. The result of these combinations is intuitive, allowing you to plan what to do in advance. Your actions will also affect the other characters, who will react dynamically to your behavior and the environment around them. Oh, thanks. It's up to you to interpret the situation and decide how to best deal with it. Okay, let's talk to our wife who's been planning a special evening for the two of us. What's the occasion? I'll tell you over dessert. Let's see how dessert goes. All right, I'm ready to get wowed by this dessert. Just give me one second. Every decision you make affects the characters around you in small but obvious ways, allowing you to explore the ramifications of your actions. Unfortunately, our evening is about to be interrupted. Police, I'll open get up. It. And what we choose to do now will change the outcome of the whole evening. I'm with the police. Turn around, please. What? Me? Yes, you. Hands behind your back. Let's go. Let's go. Now we can deal with the situation in different ways. We could try to hide, defend ourselves, or just stay out of the way. Now you. Hands behind what your back, please. On? Don't move. Help me. Will you come help me? Some actions can put us in a terrible bind, and there's not much we can do with our hands tied up. But remember, I don't know what you're... everything you experience can be used later to your advantage. This is a misunderstanding. So, let's just get up and see what Look, happens. Look, I, I... You're under arrest for your father's murder eight years ago. I, I don't know. You don't have to handcuff me when you walk this out. You're making a mistake. This is... Okay, this let's is try one more time. No, come on. Don't... I warned you! Look, I... You can't do this. Unfortunately, he is out of patience, leading to a fatal result. Wait, no, no, please, please don't stop. Somebody help! And this is where things get interesting. When we die or time runs out, we go back to the start of the evening. Oh God, you're okay. Everything has been reset, but our character retains all the knowledge of what he experienced so far. What the hell just happened? And we can use this knowledge to our advantage. Hey there. For example, when we talk to our wife now, we have new options based on the previous loops. Look, I know this sounds weird, but the day's repeating itself. What do you mean, repeating itself? I'm living the same chunk of time over and over again. Uh-huh. Let's see if we can convince her that we're stuck in a time loop. I'll prove it. Yeah, great, let's see it. Wow me. And that means choosing an object that can prove it. Let's see. If you can prove it, I mean, it'd be kind of cool. The dessert. I know you made my favorite. I told you this morning I had something special planned. Not exactly Nostradamus to guess I'd make your favorite. Right, yeah. Let's see. Ooh. You're thirsty. For you? You bet I am. But that doesn't mean you're living a time loop. It just means you're really hot. Yeah, okay. Something else. Let's see. Okay, this isn't really working, and we don't have that much time left. You know what? Forget it. Great. But on the other hand, we do know the intruder will be arriving in a few minutes. So what if we fight back this time? Let's grab the knife and hide in the bathroom. Then we stay out of sight and wait for the right time to attack him. And to be extra careful, let's lock the door and turn off the light. Hold still. Ow. Hey, what? you're hurting me. So far, he doesn't know we're here. Help me. Will you come help me? Well, who come help you? My precious. So, someone is here. I, I have a feeling oh, this might I not work. 
I can hear you in there. Babe, come on. Will you tell me? Easier if you just come this out. This is a misunderstanding. Enough. Hey, let's try and fight our way out. You can't do this. No, no. And just like that, we begin another 12 minutes. Jesus Christ. So with what you know now, what would you do next? <laughs>